Now I'm going to be straightforward in this video. And I know a lot of people is not going to get it because the whole multicolorism scheme inside of California has been brilliant. In dismantling and destroying black culture, black pride, and the awareness of self when it comes to black people. At the same time, it's been kind of weird because the other cultures are able to coexist but yet keep their cultures together. But for some strange reason, black people haven't been able to do that. Because see, let me tell you something about my people. When you say multicolorism, they believe in that. Not only do they believe it, they practice it. And what happens is we end up being the only people that actually practice multicolorism. Why the other groups will say that they're a part of it, but still operate separately from that ideology. What do you mean by that, Nizzo? California is known as a multicolored state, but within it, there's cultural groups that stick to themselves, right? The Asians still look out for the Asians, the Hispanics still look out for the Hispanics, the Caucasians still look out there for the Caucasians. The Arabs still look after the Arabs. Even though we are titled the melting pot. So I want you to understand what I'm telling you. As a true California, I want you to understand the logistics of how California really operates. Not how it looks, but what they tell you. Don't pay attention to the title. I am telling you personally what I have seen. It is very much segregated by culture. But there is one group that still yet to understand this. Black people, we believe in multicolorism. We practice it. That means that we don't come together as a group because we actually think we're living in a multicultural society. So we don't do the things that other cultures do because we think they're practicing the same thing we're practicing but they're not and that is the very reason why you see more black unity in the south than you see in california you can go to any other state and you'll see more black people actually sticking together working together but when you come to california it's not like that these black people out here do not work together. And it's the very reason why they live in the most richest, richest state out of all the states of the United States. California is one of the richest states. But yet they have the less property. They have the less house ownership. And they have less black businesses. Why? Because they actually are out here. Black people are actually out here practicing multicolorism. That's why you see black men majority. You'll see a few black women dating out of the race. But the majority of it is the black men. Because black men really believe in multicolorism in California. Therefore, they're dating everything but black women. Because they believe we're living in a multicultural society. But we're really not. We're just the only ones that happen to be believing that this thing actually exists. And that's why the other cultures are able to come together, build businesses as a culture, still hold on to their culture, still hold on to their cultural beliefs. And we throw ours out of the window. We don't hold on to our black culture. No black traditions. California is the most non-black pride state in the United States. And when you come here, we don't have no kind of home base black agenda, if that makes any sense. Because we don't believe that it, we don't believe in it because we've been told that we're in a multicultural society. The so-called melting pot. 
Is it a melting pot? Yes. But the only ones that seem to be melting away is the black people. Because they're more, they're more quick to date out. They'll date out in a minute. One thing about black people are here, they will date out of the race in a second before they consider their own. So if you are a man or a woman and you come here, just understand that everything around you is your competition. Every woman and every man around you is your competition. And the chances of you running into a woman that has already dated out is very high here in the state of California. So when you get a sister out here, you might not find a sister that only exclusively date black men, just like you're less likely to find a black man that exclusively date black women. And that's because we believe in multiculturalism out here, but nobody else does. Because all other groups, they're building, they're doing what they gotta do as a group. We're the only ones over here talking about Oh, well, we don't believe in black pride. We don't believe in black culture because we live in a multicultural society. That's why if you come to the state of California and you don't see black people sticking together and you see them running around with blue rags and red rags gunning each other down, that's because there is no national black agenda in the state of California because we have been fooled and duped into this thing called multiculturalism and all the other cultures have outsmarted us because even though on paper they will appear to be multicultural they are still intercultural they still stay within their groups they still build within their groups they still share businesses within their groups they still rent to their own kind they still open stores and spend money with each other so they're still pretty much segregated they operate in a segregated fashion when it comes to their business and their main objectives but black people we threw that all out of the window because we thought when they told us hey black people you don't have to stick together why because we live in a multicultural society okay and we just threw our black culture right out of the window we just threw it right out of the window like it didn't even exist and that's why if you walk up to the average black person in the state of California and say, what is the black agenda? They'll look at you like you're crazy. They'll actually look at you like you're crazy. They didn't tell you, oh, we don't do that over here. This is the state of California. We don't have a national black agenda. We have a multicultural agenda. And that's very much true. But the multicultural agenda is to make sure that black people don't progress because they don't understand that multiculturalism was created just for that fact. And we haven't figured it out yet. And we don't understand that when it comes to the rule books, when it comes to the rule book that they gave out explaining how we supposed to practice multiculturalism, they gave us a whole different book. Because whatever book they gave them is not the same book they gave us. And that's why you see black people in the state of California, they just don't have a black national agenda. And black pride is very bleak out here. Black education and black history is very on the low scale of priority in the state of California. And black people just don't have black unity here because they are believing in a myth. They're believing in a ghost called multiculturalism that doesn't even exist.